Hi. Now here we've got an example on the binomial expansion. And if it's something you'd like to try, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, so uh, welcome back if you did have a go. Let's see how we would do something like this. Well, you've got to find the first three terms in ascending powers of x in the binomial expansion of 2 minus 5x all to the power 6. And we've got to give each term in its simplest form. Now, because we've got a positive integer power here, 6, we can use this particular form of the binomial expansion. It's If you've got a plus b all to the power n, where n is a positive integer, then it's given by nc0, a to the power n, b to the power 0, plus nc1, a to the power n minus 1, b to the power 1, and so on. And you should be familiar with this. I've done several tutorials, which you can see on my website, examsolutions.net. Now, I'm often asked, what does nc0, nc1, etc. mean? Well, if you're looking at this video on my website, then you should find that I've got links to videos on what NC0, NC1 mean and how you can work it out on a calculator. OK, so let's just get cracking with this. We've got 2 minus 5x all to the power 6. So if we just write that down here, 2 minus 5x all to the power 6. Well. Comparing this with the formula here, you can see A is going to be the 2, B is going to be minus 5x, and the power n is going to be 6. So this is identical then to 6C0, and then you've got A to the power n, so it's going to be 2 to the power 6, 2 to the power 6, multiplied by b to the power 0, minus 5x, all to the power 0. Do put your b part certainly in brackets because it's negative, OK? And then we get the next term, the second term. That's going to be nc1, 6c1 for us, 6c1. a to the power n minus 1, so we reduce the power on a by 1, so it is now 2 to the power 5. And on the b term, minus 5x, we start to increase the power. From 0, we go up to 1. Notice all the time, these two powers always add up to n. 6 and 0 add up to our n value of 6. 5 and 1 add up to the 6. This is always a good check when you're doing questions like this. And the final term would be 6c2. 2 to the power 4, and then minus 5x to the power 2. And you can see 4 and 2 make 6 again. Don't forget, with questions like this, to put plus and so on if you've not reached the end, even though it asks us to find the first three terms. So it's just a question of working these terms out. Well, minus 5x to the power 0 is 1. 6c0, if you did it on your calculator, or you should know these ones off by heart, is just 1. So it's just 2 to the power 6, which is 64. Come on to the next term, 6c1. Anytime you get nc1, it's always n. So this turns out to be 6. 6 times 2 to the power 5, and then times by minus 5x. If you do that, you should get a negative number, and it's minus 960x. Next term is going to be a positive term, because we've got this negative 5x all squared. So it's positive. And then if you do 6c2, you should find that you get 15. And you've got 15 times 2 to the power 4, which is 16, times 25x squared. And that comes to 6,000 x squared. OK, and then we've got plus and so on. So we've expanded it then up to the first three terms. Some people will say expand it up to term in x squared. That's the same thing here. And uh, we've given each term in its simplest form. So as I say, I hope that's given you some idea on that one.